The reason why we're on the mud is because we thought it was important for you guys to see what we're talking about here. This is where people come every day. Thousands of people living in and around here. I'm just gonna bet, I'm guessing now, over two decades that this rail has not been used uh, on any real and active commercial basis. And that's why we're thrilled to stand here today with Nancy Barmakian of the Environmental Protection Agency and Congresswoman Nikki Sangas to announce a $200,000 grant to plan for the future reuse and revitalization of the Manchester and Lawrence Railroad line. Here, here. You know, this type of stuff brings the safety and infrastructure that can allow business to grow, but also to, for people who live around here feel like um, that, that their neighborhoods mean something. And kids have grown up decade after decade just seeing this, uh, the, the slow deterioration of this area. It's really an honor to be here today with Congresswoman Songus and Mayor Rivera to congratulate Lawrence, the recipient of the EPA area-wide planning grant for $200,000. The city should be really proud as it's one of just 20 successful applicants selected nationally by the EPA's Brownfield program this year. To date, EPA has provided Lawrence with $2.2 million in direct Brownfields funding to assist with the assessment of cleanup of abandoned or polluted properties. Uh, we're, yeah, $2.2 million. In this universe in which grants are the, one of the primary accesses to federal funding, uh, it's no small thing when you achieve a grant uh, of any magnitude, and this one is certainly very helpful. So I commend the Lawrence Redevelopment Authority. I commend the partnership that's been brought together with Groundwork Lawrence and the Merrimack Valley Planning Commission. I thank the EPA for uh, making this investment in the city, and I uh, look forward to how this unfolds and further contributes to the future of the city of Lawrence. So I, I feel like I'm a little bit spoiled because the EPA has been there almost at every turn for my administration from the very beginning. We had a, uh, an awful fire uh, with contaminants and the EPA came and helped us not only go after people who were responsible for the, the, the damages inside that building, but also um, supporting us in cleaning up a site that we did not really sure when we were going to start cleaning up. Uh, and they helped us along the way. We had uh, some issues with our um, our wastewater um, CSOs and they're helping us walk through that and our, all these things that they've been there every day, every time we have an issue with wastewater, uh, EPA has been, or, or anything in our community, EPA has been there to support us. And not, it hasn't been all sticks either, there's lots of carrots. I don't know where our cities in this part of the country would be without the EPA. There are countless sites where the EPA has invested important uh, funds to help clean up and remediate the after effects of the Industrial Revolution. All Americans deserve access to some form of beauty and sometimes that's pretty hard uh, in an old industrial community like this one.